what we need is we need yoga for the planet. We need the kind of real understanding that that there is no this and that without there is no me and you without we, and and that we is healing. That we is unifying, and it's also satisfying because it it puts you in a place where you don't need anything else to happen. This moment is already complete, and then if this moment is complete, well then. The next moment has much more of a chance of also being complete, and if we if we live in that way, to, to me that would be a, a truly profound yogic and peaceful way of life. But that would be an activist position. Like you, you would be aware of the ways in which maybe you're caught in a little circle where you're not taking responsibility for the the body of the planet. So you're very observing of your own body or of other people's bodies,、mm-hmm. but you're forgetting that like we're all cells of the one body of the planet, the body politic or the body of nature. Then, in a sense, we, we, you know, I mean, we're not taking responsibility for the whole, and and a lot of the bodies are not getting a lot of the cells of the body politic are not getting a blood supply. They're not getting enough blood supply,、mm-hmm. so that would create. Toxicity and you know sort of necrosis and ultimately death, and we're seeing that. And also, in terms of global warming, I mean, the sort of uncontrollable greed that drives capitalism at its worst and so forth creates environments where people are capitalizing on、uh, a dying planet. That will not be good for even their children, or grandchildren, or seven generations. So, the, so this is the real yoga, as far as I'm concerned. It's like, you know, it's like you could maybe you can bend, do a forward bend, put your head on your knees, and that's great. But,、uh, but that's only a, a small part of it.